Dick's Sporting Goods has been on an absolute tear lately. Over the past five years, they're up 380%. Over the past year, 37.74%. And over the past month, they are up 13.81%. You can see right here, about a week ago, they had a pretty large spike in their share price. And that's because a lot of institutional investors are very bullish on this company. You can see we have Morgan Stanley right here, bullish on the company. Bank of America, you can see, and Barclays, all pretty bullish on the company. To put into perspective just how well the company has been performing, if we look at the past three years, Dick Sporting Goods versus the S&P 500, it's been no comparison. They have blown them out of the water. So in this video, we're going to be jumping into my stock valuation spreadsheet to see if we can find the intrinsic value of Dick Sporting Goods and see if this is a stock we should consider buying or selling. And on the spreadsheet, we'll be looking at four different valuations. We'll look at grams, a discounted cash flow, a multiples valuation, and a dividend discount model. And all of this will roll into our output tabs. So let's go ahead and jump over to our stock screener. If you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. But okay, let's go ahead and come up here and we'll plug in the stock ticker for Dick Sporting Goods and hit enter. And again, all this data will automatically load in. We're currently looking at a 365 day change. So like we've already seen, pretty nice share price appreciation. Now, if we come over here and look at the dividend, this data has actually not been updated yet. They just announced a major dividend increase. So if we jump back over here, we can see that their starting dividend yield is now 2.67%. They more than doubled their dividend payout. So that's a pretty nice starting dividend yield for the company. Pretty nice low payout ratio as well, even with the increased dividend. If we come down here, we can see analysts currently have a target price of $137.75. Institutional ownership, much, much higher than I was expecting, 99.8%. That's pretty ridiculous. If we come over here and look at the beta, we can see it's sitting at 1.4. So you are going to see a decent amount of volatility with this stock. Now, moving forward, let's go ahead and look at Graham's valuation. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and come over here and we can see the formula laid out for us by Benjamin Graham to calculate intrinsic value. So we have our earnings per share. We have our growth rate projection, which is just slightly more conservative than what I saw from analysts. And then we have our current yield on triple A corporate bonds. And at the time of this video, if we jump over here, you can see it's sitting at 4.84. And look just how much this has climbed over the past couple of years. That's really going to push this valuation model down quite a bit. If we jump back over, you can see around the beginning of 2022 is sitting closer to around 2.2%. And if we change the valuation to 2.2 here, you can see the intrinsic value jumps all the way up to $283 per share. So current market conditions definitely pushing this valuation model down quite a bit as you just saw. Now moving forward, let's go ahead and look at our discounted cash flow analysis. We need to project a growth rate to the future free cash flows for the company. So I looked at the historical free cash flow for the company. It's really increased quite a bit over the past two or three years, as you can see right here. But moving forward, I'm projecting a conservative growth rate of just 1% to the future free cash Cash flows for the company and to the terminal value, which is the sum of the future free cash flows past the year 2031. I then found the present value of those future free cash flows and added them together, added the company's cash and cash equivalents, and subtracted out their total debt to get their equity value. I then divided by the shares outstanding to get our discounted cash flow price per share of $225.29. That is quite a bit higher than that current trading price for the company. Now, moving forward, let's look at our multiples valuation. Let's see. You can see our four comparable companies right here. And essentially what we're doing is we're looking at how the company is valuing these comparable companies using a price to earnings multiple. And this is a little bit of a unique situation because if you look right here, we definitely have one really large outlier. And when that's the case, you actually don't want to use the average price to earnings multiple. You're going to want to use the median as well. So if we come down here, let's go ahead and adjust our formula to pick up the median price to earnings for those comparable companies. And I'll hit enter and you can see we come to an intrinsic value of $123.98. So the average price to earnings for these comparable companies, 20.25, median 11.79. If we jump over to our stock screener, you can see Dick Sporting Goods at 14.24. So definitely an interesting analysis right there. But let's go ahead and move forward and look at our dividend discount model. So here's our historical dividend payouts and here is our dividend increase right there. So again, 105% increase in their dividend payouts. So this valuation model is going to value this company based on how much they pay out in dividends and how much that dividend is increasing. So moving forward, I'm projecting a dividend growth rate of 6.5%, discount rate of 9%. And with that starting dividend payout right here, we come to a dividend discount model price per share of $170.40. So let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab. And here we're going to see our four different valuation models. We have grams at one 
129, multiples at 123, discounted cash flow at 225, and dividend discount model at $170 per share. And so when we average all four of those together, we come to an intrinsic value of $162.17 per share. That is a little bit higher than that current trading price. But let's say we want to apply a 10% margin of safety. We come to an acceptable buy price of $145.95. So it's not quite within that buy range. Let's say we apply a 20% margin of safety. Acceptable buy price of $129.73. So again, not quite in that buy range. Now I think for our discounted cash flow and our dividend discount model, obviously really strong valuations, but the two wild cards in this scenario are definitely Graham's valuations and the multiples valuations. Like we already saw with multiples valuations, we had to do a little unique scenario by pulling in the median price to earnings instead of the average because of this huge outlier right here. But I think some people may argue that it is justified that Dick Sporting Goods has a slightly higher price to earnings just with the way the company's performed over the past few years. Now, also, like we already discussed with Graham's valuation, that current yield on AAA corporate bonds definitely driving this valuation down quite a bit. So it'd be nice to see under better market conditions. Maybe if the current yield on AAA corporate bonds was closer to around three, you can see your intrinsic value jumps up to around $208 per share. So when we jump over to our output tab, our intrinsic value jumps up to $181. And then with a 10% margin of safety in that case, it would be within our acceptable buy price and our buy range. So definitely an interesting analysis and interesting situation here with Dick Sporting Goods. It's currently on my watch list, but I don't plan on adding shares at its current price. But go ahead and let me know what you think of this company in the comments down below if you plan on buying or selling. If you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.